Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning and this will be for the week of August 24th through the 30th. We are closing out August in this spread and um, for those of you who are new to my channel, you might be wondering how I do my memory spreads and how I remember everything. Honestly, I have a terrible memory and there's no way I could remember what I did a day ago, let alone like weeks ago. So what I usually do is I use the notes app in my phone to track what I do every Every day I try to write in it like every night before I go to bed um, just so I can remember like what happened that day and then when I do my memory spread I just go ahead and refer to that um, because like I said otherwise there's no way I would remember um, so anyways for this week I'm going to be using this kit from M crystal prints I've been saving this kit for the end of summer um, because I feel like this is I don't know kind of like sunset colors and to me it just seemed really appropriate to close out the summer months um, this kit is is in a gold foil as you can see and I'm just like in love with this artwork it's so beautiful I pretty much like had to grab this kit as soon as I saw it and the quote box here says palm trees and ocean breeze and this page comes with the full boxes as well as some quarter boxes or I think these are third boxes at the bottom here we have the bottom washi, some washi strips, a bow checklist, and then a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar. And on this page, we have some check flags, some arrow stickers for layering. We have build do and habit trackers and a ton of half boxes and quarter boxes. And this sheet is also gold foiled. And then the last page here has the date covers. We've got headers, another third box, a three bow checklist, and we've got another Monday through Sunday box, which is perfect because I like using two of them in in my sidebar we've got two more half boxes here and then a ton of icons here at the bottom that match the colors of this kit and I really love how every page in this kit is foiled it's so pretty and I'm just so excited to jump right in so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna start by placing down my bottom washi and then continue to build my spread from there I had to trim down my bottom washi for this week because it was just a little bit too big for the space that I had available at the bottom of my planner. And I know I mentioned this in the intro already, but this kit is honestly so gorgeous. I absolutely loved using it this week. It was so much fun to work with and I can't wait for you guys to see how everything turned out. So once I'm done with that, I move to the sidebar and I go ahead and place down the quote box in the top corner. I decided to leave the August 2020 at the top, which did um, kind of take up space in my sidebar. So so I decided to forego some of my sidebar headers this week. As you can see, I placed down a habit tracker to track my working out, and then I just go ahead and place down the two Monday through Sunday boxes from the kit without using any headers, so I had room for both of them. And at the very bottom, I just closed out the remaining space with a piece of washi that I had cut down. I then go ahead and place down all of my date covers and for this week I found some date dots. These are from our box stickers I believe and I just go ahead and lay them down on top of the date covers. I move back to the sidebar really quick and I place down a this week foiled header that's from Hey Soul Sticker and I also filled in my workout header. The pen that I'm using this week, I actually switched it up this week, which almost never happens because I love using my Inkjoy gel pens. But for this week, I decided to try out this Muji pen that I got as a gift from a planner friend named Dee and I actually really liked using it. Um, I felt like it was really smooth to write with and also I like the size of the pen. I feel like with my Inkjoys, I've been having a hard time um, with the sizing because I want something in between the 0.5 and the 0.7. Um, so this was definitely a great alternative. On Monday, I actually first placed down a full box at the bottom and then used a matching header on top. I adjust the bottom washi really quick and then I move to the top. I first used a foiled header with a quarter box and on top of the foiled header, I used a today script sticker and that's from Chic Blossom Prints. I then placed down a coffee sticker from Hey Soul Sticker to mark that I had some coffee that Monday morning and then I had a phone call to make for work so I pulled in this gold foiled phone sticker and I believe that's from Planning Like a Pro. I then trimmed down a flag sticker from the kit and I just placed it down to mark that I did some puzzling that day after work and then um, I used a quarter box with this donut sticker that came in a sampler sheet so unfortunately I'm not sure where it came from um, but I used that to mark picking up some mochi donuts which have been my absolute favorite. I swear I've had it like six times in the past month because they're just so good but anyways I got some donuts because I was doing a picnic in the park with some of my friends that night and um, the picnic sticker that I pulled in is from Happy Sherpa Papery. 
I then stopped by the grocery store to grab some beer because I remember we were out that day and that gold foiled arrow sticker is from Magic Prince Co. On Tuesday, I first started by placing down a today header. Then I used a bow checklist to mark some meetings that I had for work that day. And I also pulled in this gold foiled pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks because I had some empty space on the right hand side. Then I pulled in a third box and I used this really hot munchkin sticker from Once More With Love to mark that we were in the middle of a heat wave again. It was so incredibly hot, like probably over 100 degrees where I was. It was definitely very uncomfortable. Um, and then I placed down a full box underneath that. I did some more puzzling that afternoon, so I used a half box and a puzzle sticker, which is from Olive Planner Co. And just to add some gold foil, I pulled in some little bow stickers from Chic Chic Designs and just placed them inside the puzzle. On the quarter box, I used a shoe sticker from Hey Soul Sticker, and I also pulled in this gold foiled workout sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark my workout that afternoon. And then at the very bottom, I used this TV sticker, which is new in my collection, that is from the Pretty Pink Co. And I used that to mark watching a show called I'm Sorry, which is on Netflix, and I highly recommend it. It's super funny and just kind of a feel good show. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a to-do header with a third box and a laptop sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that I had a morning staff meeting on Wednesday. Um, and then underneath that, I pulled in a flag sticker from the kit with a phone icon. I believe that one is also from the Pretty Pink Co., which like I said, are brand new in my collection and I had so much fun pulling them in. And I used that to mark another phone conference that I had. After work that day, I checked my P.O. box and got some surprise happy mail, which always makes my day. Um, that envelope sticker, I think, is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint or Happy Sherpa Papery. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. And then underneath that, I used a foiled header with a quarter box to mark that I was super hungry on Wednesday. I came home and pretty much just wanted to devour everything that we had. I don't know why, um, but some days I just am so hungry when I get home. At the very bottom, I used a half box and this planner sticker from Olive Planner Co. Um, to mark that I did some filming and then we watched more of the show I'm Sorry that night. On Thursday, I first placed down a work header at the very top. Then I used one of those foiled arrow stickers from the kit and layered this laptop sticker from Sticker Blush on top of it to mark another morning staff meeting that I had. Um, then I used a flag icon from the kit with this pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. Um, and then I went and did happy hour with some of my old coworkers um, and it was really good to see them. We found this restaurant that had like a huge patio. Um, so we were definitely able to to sit outside. That gold foiled cocktail sticker is from the Pretty Pink Co. And then I realized that I didn't have a whole lot going on for the rest of the day. So I pulled in a heart sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark the restaurant that we went to. Underneath that, I placed down a full box. And then at the very bottom, I wanted to mark that I had a couple more beers when I got home that night, just to celebrate that it was Friday Eve. And that really cute beer icon is from Once More With Love. On Friday, I first placed down a half box at the top. Then I used a gold foiled coffee sticker from Hey Soul Sticker to mark that I grabbed some coffee that morning. And I was so excited because they have the pumpkin cream cold brew back at Starbucks. Um, so I definitely had to get that while it's still in season. And then that day, I also grabbed some takeout for lunch. I went to a Thai place nearby. Um, that takeout box is from Once More With Love. And the gold foiled heart sticker is from the Pretty Pink Co. I placed down a full box underneath that, and then I used a to-do header with a quarter box and this puzzling munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that I worked on my puzzle when I got home that night. I'm currently working on a really hard puzzle where there's like a hundred pieces that are just white and they're all the exact same shape. Um, so yeah, that's definitely kept me pretty busy the last couple weeks. And then underneath that, I used this gold foiled sticker icon, and that is from Hazel Sticker to mark that I went and dropped off some um, leftovers slash like de-stash stickers that I had in my collection to someone that was looking for them in my neighborhood. I'm in a buy nothing, sell nothing Facebook group. So um, somebody in that group happened to be asking for stickers, which obviously I have plenty to share. Um, and then underneath that, I used a bow checklist to mark some places that I went that night to grab some more groceries for the upcoming weekend. 
On Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom and placed a header on top of that so I could cover up the gray header of the planner. And then moving to the top of Saturday, I actually first placed down a full box at the top of Sunday because I knew that's where I already wanted it. And then I used a today header on Saturday with a quarter box and a laundry sticker from Hello Petite Paper to mark that I did some laundry on that day. I then used a taco sticker from Plans with Vanessa, and I have really exciting news. Her shop is finally reopening soon. It might already be open once this video goes up, um, but I have been running out of some of my favorite taco and boba stickers from her shop, so I definitely will be restocking. Um, then underneath that, I used a half box with a puzzle sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I went and picked up some puzzles, which were being given away on that Buy Nothing, Sell Nothing group that I was talking about. Um, so I have three new puzzles, waiting for me when I finish this really hard one. And again, that little bow sticker is from Chic Chic Designs. I then paired another shoe sticker from Hey Soul Sticker with a workout sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that I did a workout that Saturday afternoon. And then in the remaining space, I pulled in this gold foiled heart from Hey Soul Sticker as well to mark that I started watching the new Gilmore Girls reunion series. I think it's called A Year in the Life. And I actually really enjoyed it. I've just really loved Gilmore Girls and I'm just happy for like any content that they want to release. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Saturday. Moving to Sunday, I first placed down a quarter box and that sandwich sticker is from Once More With Love. I use that to mark making sandwiches for the Homey Made Meals Volunteer Program where you can make meals for the homeless in LA. And then underneath that, I cut up a bow checklist into three bows and used a header on top of that to mark some things that I had to do. Um, we were doing a picnic for my friend's birthday, so I just had to go pick up some cupcakes and some mochi donuts, which like I said, have been my absolute favorites. And I also got ready so I pulled in this makeup icon from Chasing Chels to mark that and I think it fit perfectly in that space and then on the half box I wanted to mark the birthday picnic so I pulled in this really cute balloon sticker from Olive Planner Co and added a little bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs inside. After the picnic, I took a nap when I got home. So I pulled in this gold foiled sleeping mask sticker, which is from Artbox Stickers. And then at the end of the night, I just stopped by the grocery store again. So I used a quarter box for that. I was getting my wisdom teeth removed the next day. And so I had to go stock up on like soups and jellos, eggs, and just things that I was able to eat for the next week. And that concludes my spread for this week. So I just go ahead and move back to my sidebar to track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Um, and once I'm done with that, I just go ahead and show you guys the leftover stickers from this spread. I did use quite a bit of stickers this week, which is good. And um, now I'm just doing a Viv Wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into the spread. I did try to pull in quite a bit because I felt like that gold foil just went with the kit so nicely. And now I'm just giving you guys a closer look at the spread in general. I absolutely love how this turned out. I am so happy that I found this kit. Um, again, it's from a shop called M Crystal Prints and her designs are beautiful. I definitely recommend her shop. And yeah, I just felt like this kit was a perfect way to close out summer. Um, let me know what you guys think about the spread. And if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and leave them down below. Um, thank you so, so much for watching as usual. I always appreciate the support. And with that, I hope you guys are doing well and taking good care. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.